guys, it's Kellen Harve, and today we're going to be giving my iPhone case and my TikTok pop socket a makeover. So just before we get started, I've had this TikTok pop socket for so long and it looks so dead, so we're going to give it a makeover. But I didn't want to just give it any makeover, I wanted to give it a Disney themed makeover because I'm going to Disneyland in a few weeks and I just wanted to get in the spirit, you know, so this is the reason why I'm doing a Disney themed and so for some reason I'm decided to do it based on Winnie the Pooh, so let's get started. So let's start by taking that case off. Oh god, I'm sorry I'm blinding you. So yeah, let's just pull that off and next let's pull that tired looking pop socket off. As you can see, there's like a bit of, uh, what do you call that? Pop socket remains. <laughs> and as you can see, there's like lots of wear and tear on this pop socket. Oh, especially on the back. Look at that, that's so gross. We're gonna have to try and clean that up. Ew! So I'm just trying to pull the top off of the bottom of the pop socket. There we go. And then I'm using a wet wipe and some anti back to clean up that pop socket. And now I look so much cleaner, yay. And then I tried cleaning this sticky bit, but I just couldn't get it clean, so. But let's move on to the painting. The first color I used was white. Oh, and here's my little pick of inspiration from Google Images. So I first used my white paint to outline poo on the poo. <laughs> what I meant to say was I used my white acrylic paint as a base for my acrylic paint so that the colors were more vibrant. But as you can see, I totally scrapped that idea because it was gonna take far too long using that rubbish acrylic paint. So I switched over to my Posca pen, which only took one coat, which is handy dandy. So you can see little Pooh Bear's head forming here. Oh, he's so cute. And then I'm showing you nothing in this screen, but I was drawing his arm. Here he comes. Oh, there he is, little Pooh Bear. So now I've gone into my yellow paint to start painting a poo. I wanted to create like a pastel-y yellow for this. So I mixed like a few different yellows that I had, which was like a mustard and a lemon yellow with a white, just to tone down the colors a bit. And then I'm coloring in his ears here, which is cute as hell. And I'm just adding a little honey with a lighter yellow on his paw here because that's just, so wait, does he have a paw? Is that what it is? Or is it just like a little chubby hand? Anyway, back to what I'm doing. So next, I'm just getting a black paint to fill in like any of the scratches that I made on my pop socket in the past. And then I got a white paint to just touch up any of the white bits like on the TikTok logo. I then used a turquoise and a white to mix like this light blue that's around the rim of the TikTok pop socket. And I did the same with a red and then I took some time to like fade it into the gradient that was originally on the pop socket. I just wanted to keep this the same because I quite like the original colors. I then reached for my black Posca pen just to go around the edges and clean up those edges. <laughs> anyway, I then went ahead and outlined Pooh Bear's head and his little honey hand. And then I began off with my black Posca pen around the edges and then I transitioned to my white Posca pen just to clean up where I went wrong with the black pen. And as you can not see here, I'm trying to color in the TikTok logo with the white Posca pen and it just wasn't working. I was trying everything. I then switched to a paintbrush and that didn't work either. So we just scrapped that idea. And now I'm just adding Pooh Bear's little features like his eyebrows and his nose just to his face, just to finish the pop socket. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And finally, I just used a paintbrush to touch up his face. And then I reached for a Posca pen just to fill in some bits and pieces. And then we have our final product. There he is. And now for the second part of this tutorial, I'm just using some anti back here to clean up my case. And here's my little template that I'm gonna be using or as an idea, it's a little honey pot. I'm, I'm planning on just dotting these all over the case. So like I did for the pop socket, I'm using my white Posca pen as a base just so the acrylics are more vivid. So I planned on doing five all together. So here I am just doodling them. And there they are, there's the base. They don't look like much yet. And then I mix some brownie beigey colors together to make this like honey pot color to start painting the pots in. So I'm just zooming through this process because it's pretty repetitive and I don't want to bore you. But this is just my base color and then we're going to add texture and whatever we need to after this step. And then 5,000 coats of paint later, we are done. Oh, and as you can see, we scrapped one. Rest in peace, little honey pot. But as you can see from these clips, I just couldn't get the paint to stick to this pot. And I thought it was the Posca paint, but then I checked underneath and the paint was still on the case. So I tried wiping it away and I tried everything. I tried different paints and we just scrapped it in the end. 
I then move on to do some detail on the honey pots, like some stripes, and I repeated this for all five of the honey pots, but as you can see, I'm focusing on the one here, and then I added some shading too, and then, apparently I didn't record any of this part, but I did, in fact, outline the whole honey pot. I'm so sorry that I forgot to record it. Anyway, here I am adding the stripes to the other honey pots and then moving on to do some detail like the highlights and what makes a honey pot look like a honey pot, you know? And I'm not sure if it's because I didn't have a brush small enough or if I'm just not pre 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 precise enough, but this little pot in the corner just didn't turn out how I would have liked it to. But anyway, here I am outlining the rest of the honey pots. And once again, I'm just zooming through this because it's pretty repetitive and I don't want to bore you too much. And then I'm just cleaning up some bits that I didn't like and just repainted those little bits and used my Posca pen just to clean it up because that little pot, I just couldn't get right. I just wasn't sure. I just, you know, yeah. Anyway, I mixed some like darker browns just to add some shading to the honey pots to make them look a little more realistic, like I said a bit earlier. And then I'm using my Posca pen to clean up any little messes. I then grabbed my Mod 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 my Mod Podge and I did a nice even coat over the foam case. I then added two layers of Mod Podge to my pop socket too, just to secure the paint in place. And now here's the final touch. I'm adding my pop socket to my case and I just think this looks so cute together. But wait a second. After adding my Mod Podge to my case, it left like a streaky layer. And this is just me being inexperienced with using Mod Podge. So I then took the time to peel all of the Mod Podge off the back of the case, apart from what was on the paint itself. And this task was extremely tedious, but so worth it because then the case turned out super cute and I wouldn't recommend using Mod Podge in the future because it left, I just, maybe it's just me, but it just didn't turn out how I would have liked it to. So I just need to do some research into that in the future. But let's just take a look at the phone case because I think it looks cute. My favorite part is definitely the pop socket, but let's go have a look. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I loved making it and editing it. This has really been a fun video to do. So if you guys really enjoyed this as much as I did, please let me know because I would really love to do this again in the future. It was just so fun and just so me, if that makes sense, to create. And I just loved painting. I haven't had a chance to paint recently, so this was just a good excuse. But I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure if you haven't already to check out all the links in my bio below. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, even my TikTok account where I'll be posting more painting videos like painting rocks. But make sure if you haven't already to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell because I'd love to see you all here again in the future. And make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this because I'd love to do it again. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on Wednesday for the next video. Bye!